So this the septum transversum that's going to ultimately form the central tendon of the diaphragm. This is splitting the cavity, the, the body cavity, into a thoracic and, and the abdominal, yeah, the abdominal pelvic and peritoneal cavity. Okay, and so now this is going to split the thoracic cavity into two pleural cavities and the pericardial cavity. Right, okay, okay. that makes sense. Um, and so your question was the pericardial peritoneal fold, uh, the pleural pericardial fold? Yeah. Or, okay. So if it's a pleural peritoneal, that would mean one for the lung and the heart. Or, no, see, that's, I'm just like splitting it up into what the word is. Yeah, so it, it helps you remember where, what it's going to form. But right. This, this fold, will, when it extends, it, it becomes a membrane. Okay? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that pleural pericardial membrane it's just saying that it's between the it's going to be between the the lungs and, and the, the heart. heart so that that's just to help you remember where right. it is and this is going to be the the fibrous layer of the okay. okay remember that the the, the the visceral and parietal layer are there of the serous pericardium yeah are going to be inside that okay um, that fibrous pericardium uh, contains the it, it, um, it has the phrenic this pleural pericardial membrane contains the phrenic nerve, uh -huh. and so that's why you, when you looked, you saw that phrenic nerve along the fibrous pericardium. Uh -huh. and and the heart. Heart. So your question was, so does that answer that question? Yeah, so that's the first, so that's one fold. Um, so the other fold is the pleuroperitoneal fold. Right. And that's coming off, um, it's projecting from the peri cardioperitoneal canals. Right, so the canals are... That's different. What are they important for? So what happens when you have the septum transversum, it's going from the ventral, yeah. this is ventral, yeah. this is dorsal. Okay. okay. So that septum transversum is going from the ventral wall, yeah. and it's going back, but it doesn't go all the way back. Okay. So there's this space, and that space is called the pericardial peritoneal canals. Okay. Okay. You can see it on either side of the forehead here. Okay. And so that space is going to be filled in by the pleural peritoneal fold. Okay. And that's what you're seeing in the blue here. Okay. And then the folds, these eventually become a membrane, don't they? Yes. So, yeah, so the folds just become the membrane to the extent. Mm -hmm. And so now you have the pleural peritoneal membrane, the septum transversum, and then you have some of the, the body wall coming in to form this muscular layer. The muscular part for the, of the diagram? Mm -hmm. The more peripheral muscular part of the okay. leg. Right. So that will be innervated by, by the, the intra So, um, so this. But this, most of it's phrenic. Right, okay, so most of this. So the way that this fold was sort of separating the lungs from the heart. Yes. This one's separating the pleural part. Right, it's for, so bringing the rest of the body. That's a from the yeah. heart. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay.